Hey guys, Model Rocks 321 here. So before we get to this onboard footage of the Astron Omega staging, I um, just want to talk about the Universal Astro Cam one more time. I did a video like this a while ago. I just want to get another one back out there. Um, the other camera actually lost. That one's long gone. Lost it in the field. Um, never found it. So this was a new one. Um, and then you can get one of these with the Universal. I think it's the new Astro Cam. It comes with this whole little setup right here. So what you get is you get the camera itself, which comes with a 16 gigabyte hard drive, USB charge. Um, you plug it right into a USB port and there's a little hole there where the camera is and you mount it pointing down like this, as you can see here on the box image. That is the new, one of their kits, I forget what rocket that is, by Estes. There's a little strap that goes around, this cradle that holds it and it slides in there. Then you do a rubber band deal that goes in and hold it on. I didn't have the rubber band with me and that's what caused me to lose my old one. So it goes like this. Cam goes in and then you take that rubber band which is right here and it hooks on these little hooks that are on this little cradle. And this is kind of like a piece of material they give you. It reminds me of the like the priority bag material that you get from the post office that kind of like material like that that's like kind of like a plastic but it's more like a fiber um, material and you cut a piece of that and you just tape it to the body and it seems to work pretty good I mean it keeps it it has a little play a little slide with it but once it takes all I think it locks in place I didn't see too much shake on the footage which you'll see coming up soon so that's how it goes and to operate these are really simple um, they have a function where you can take still shots which I don't really mess with I don't really need still shots at this little camera um, but what you do, it's kind of wonk. It's cool, but I think the button should have been, or the light that you should see should be on the outside. The light's in here. Like, yeah, it's on the out. It's hard to see. It's right along this metal piece. And when you press it once, it powers it on. And press again, it starts flashing. Let me see if I can get that to operate right now. Let me see. Hold for two seconds, actually, when you turn it on. So one, two. See, it came on. You can see that blue light right there. And if I was to press it again, that'll be recording. I'll show you that too. I'm not going to use this footage, but so press again. And right there. So that flashing you see is recording. But you got to understand. So once you do that, I'm going to go in power, stop it, and power off. It'll power off itself. I think he's pressing hold again. One, two seconds. Yeah, one, two seconds. It'll power it off. So you have to set that up, get it on. Then you put it in. Then you have to put this cover on. And then you put it in there. Unless you can run it, yeah, you got to run it with this piece so the rubber band will fit correctly. So you got to do all that, which is not a whole lot. Put it in and then strap it on before you go on and, and record. So that's the only problem, I think. I think they just had the light on the outside. So you can be, have it in the cradle with the rubber band on like this. Power it on, you see it, and then press it again. That's the only flaw. And that's kind of, um, I think if they do a redesign, put the light on the outside. That's these if you hear me. <laughs> Put the light on the outside. So that's about it. Um, other than that, once it's set and it's on the pad, you'll get your footage and it's gone. It'll run into the for the whole flight. Then you can go and power it off once you recover it. But it come with the instructions and everything you need. Come with a one year warranty, which is right here. So you get a one year warranty. Um, yeah, everything in the operation manual. Yep. So pretty cool. And they say to remove this card. Use a. Uh, a paper clip, but I can use it. My thumb, my nail, a little will pop it out. And yeah, I forgot to show you that SD card is on the side right here. I can I can usually pop it out with my thumb. Yeah, so there you go. You get that. It comes with it. it comes with a 16 gigabyte uh, little SD card. So that's cool. But yeah, um, so go on and check one of these out. And if you want to get one of these, you see on the screen. Um, use my discount code at sdsrockets.com. Put in I and underscore three two one. Um, once this is in your cart. And go on and buy one of these. Um, get them before they go out of production. You never know when something's going to stop being made. That's the uh, the way it is these days. Just never know. You get you know get some good footage. Um, it's 1080p. I'm sure it's not 4K or nothing. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Pop the uh, SD card in your computer. You can go grab the footage from all your flights and um and view them. So yeah, get the Universal Astro Cam. Like I said, using discount code. Tell them I sent you. Tell them Keith from Model Rocks Three sent you over. Universal Astro Cam. And get some other stuff and um yeah so get discount but pretty cool pretty cool unit so now let's get on to this enjoy this onboard footage of the astron omega taking off staging watch the boosters pop off and that's what we'll do subscribe to the channel guys all right it's my rockets three two one enjoy 
All right, here we go. Got the Astron Omega going a D120 to a C115, and we are going in five, four, three, two, one.